Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. Today in this video, you will learn how to insert heart emoji in Outlook Classic as well as new Outlook. Currently, I have opened my Outlook Classic and I simply click on this new email available on the top left corner of my screen. Or you can also use Ctrl N keyboard shortcut to open the new email. So in this video, I will cover couple of keyboard shortcuts also which help you to insert heart emoji in Outlook Classic. So I have opened my new email. Keep the cursor where you want to insert your heart emoji and the first option is go to the insert tab. In the illustration section you will see an option which is pictures. So when you click on this picture you will get three options. This device, stock images and online images. So I have to select stock images here. So a separate dialog box of stock images appears. Simply click on this icon, now type heart here. Hit enter and you will see few options for you with heart shape like this, this and these. These are options which you can very easily insert in your message body. But the only problem with these icons is these are only available in black and white color. So I select uh, this one and hit insert. You will see my emoji is inserted here. You can resize it by dragging the corners and align the font size of the system according to your requirement. You can also use but when you click on the subject line and you want to insert the heart emoji here, this illustration options are blur. That means Outlook Classic won't allow you to insert any emoji in the subject line. So now the keyboard shortcut. So the most popular keyboard shortcut is Windows period. This is the inbuilt keyboard shortcut available in every computer or laptop here this dialog box appears. Now you simply need to type heart. Now you will see few options here. Select the one you need to insert and boom, you will see your heart emoji is inserted here. You can also select the subject and hit windows period. And you can also insert the same emoji in the subject line also. But the only problem in that, when you try to insert in the subject line, that would be in the black and white. Now another keyboard shortcut which is available to insert heart emoji is type 1F493 and use Alt X. So your heart emoji is converted. Now when you press Alt X that code will be converted in a heart emoji. There are two conditions to use this keyboard shortcut. Condition number one, the alphabet I used in the code which is F must be on the upper case and the alt key which you use from your keyboard must be from the left of your spacebar and that code will be converted into heart emoji. Let's try in subject type 1F493 hit alt x. Yes, it's working. So these are the two main options available for you to insert heart emoji in Outlook classic. Now I will show you in new outlook as well. So now I am on my new outlook. Click new to open the new email window. Now here if you want to insert the heart emoji, keep your cursor where you need to insert that emoji. Go to the insert tab and you will see an option which is under include which is emojis. When you click on this option you will get tons of options available here. Now here you need to simply type heart in the search bar. So you will see few samples for you. Select the one you need to insert and boom, your emoji is inserted here. L let's check on the subject also. So I put my cursor on the subject line. When I try to insert the heart emoji in the subject line, that emoji is not inserted in the subject. Now the keyboard shortcut which also allow in the, to insert heart emoji in new outlook is window period. Now again, the same dialog box appears. You can select the heart emoji here and your emoji is inserted in the message body very easily. But if I select the subject line 
and use this keyboard shortcut to insert the heart emoji. I press window period and try to insert the emoji in the subject line. Yes, in this case, my heart emoji is inserted with colorful emojis in the message body as well as in the subject in new outlook. If you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and Problem Solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.